What's up guys? Die Lucky here doing my first unboxing video of all things that I'm interested in which is mostly technology items. This is going to be a different one especially for our first unboxing. First unboxing is going to be of a special item that a friend of mine sent to me. It is a special tequila and i um, very interested to try it out. So let's get it unboxed. Looks to be boxed pretty well. Let's go ahead and make a little bit of a mess here. Oh my. Well, it's definitely been braced pretty well, so huge positive. And so far from what I can see from the bottle, it's actually Pretty nice. And like that, tequila goes everywhere. <laughs> so, first impressions, it's not really bottled well in the sense that they should have did something to keep it from spilling everywhere. Like it's literally all over me. So uh, this is going to be a one-time kind of video. So if I mess up, ah, screw it. So uh, let's go ahead and pick up the bottle. So it looks like it came with a pretty cool top here. Um, looks like a couple hugging or embracing or something like that. Um, very nice bottle um, from a company called Besado and this is the Platinum. Um, so there's the bottle. You see the nice top piece and by the way this top piece on the inside it actually has a uh, cork so very nice. Um, looks like we've got premium 100% agave tequila, lightly infused with maca root extract, ginseng flavor, damia liquor flavor. Um, looks like it's about 40% alcohol, it's about 80 proof, pretty typical of a tequila. And uh, apparently this is supposed to be a top-end tequila. So. Most important thing is how's it taste. I can tell you from it being spilt on me, so far it tastes pretty good. So um, let's actually get a good taste of this. I'll take a half a shot, just don't want to get too buzzed. Such a satisfying sound. I have no idea why, but maybe because I'm an alcoholic. Anyways, cheers guys. Mm. First off, definitely strong. As in most tequilas I've ever had, typically are. Um, but this in particular, just, it's really good and smooth. Um, I can't explain the flavors that's going on right here. It's, it's so, so different, um, different from any other tequila I've ever had. Um, I've had, you know, the cheap Jose Cuervo. Um, I've had the little better Jose Cuervo, and I've had um, Cabo Wabo, so some of your better stuff. Um, 
and this is definitely in that upper range of tequilas. It's definitely got a good sweet bite. Um, I don't know if any of you watchers out there have had a, you know, any drinks in particularly that has some kind of ginseng in them, but I can definitely taste the ginseng. It's not overpowering, but it's actually a good addition. Um, I'm very, very impressed with how smooth it is for a tequila. Um, a lot of tequilas are, can be a little overpowering with their taste and almost less desirable to be just drank by itself and more to be mixed with. Um, you know, even even Patron in, in, in some instances where I've had it, I'm just like, yeah, I'd rather mix this with something. But this, this is actually a good mixer, so I'm uh, pretty impressed with it. But um, overall, um, I believe this is a newer company. I could be wrong. If I am, please forgive me. But, uh, you know, for being a, a newer uh, company, it's actually really good. They've done a great job. I really hope the best for them and uh, look forward to seeing more of their progress as a company come up with more tequilas. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. That's a wrap. Um, for any comments, please put them and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.